The scalar wave laser is truly a remarkable and revolutionary healing tool. It really was designed um, for use by my wife and I for our own personal healing situations. We designed it with all the features and situations in it that could, could work for us for dealing with any health situation, any injury, disease, any um, situation having to do with our progression, sort of a tool for navigating the new changing season that's happening here on planet Earth. Um, just for a reference, we want to make clear we're not doctors. We don't really believe in the germ theory model. So our approach to using the laser is not to use it to fix injuries or heal, or heal conditions. We're really using it to return the body to a coherent state of energy. Our view is that when the body is relaxed and, and at ease, there's much more energy available, and the key systems, the organ systems, the glands, the energy, the lymph, the brain, the neurotransmitters, the DNA, will all cooperate and work efficiently to find creative solutions to what's happening in, in the body field. So just as a reference, that's our sort of approach to, toward using lasers for health and rejuvenation. That's why we call it rejuvenation, laser rejuvenation, because it's really about using the laser to rejuvenate your cells. In fact, the pleomorphic model is a fascinating model. Our, our Western medicine views that blood is sterile. The pleomorphic model, which is popular internationally, not so popular here in America, is that blood is not sterile. Blood goes through a process of pleomorphic, many changes. In different cycles, the, the blood is prone to different kinds of infections. In one cycle, it may be prone to bacterial infections, in one fungal, in one viral. And as it processes these different um, formations, certain uh, uh, mi microbes and bacteria emerge. So the goal in pleomorphic medicine is not to to destroy the germs. Their germ theory is a third dimensional approach. We're going to bl blow up the germs. We're going to knock out the germs. We're not dealing with the terrain, the alkalinity, the acidity alkalinity balance, the amount of energy, the toxicity, the heavy metals. By addressing the milieu or the terrain, we can allow the blood to move through the processes to come back to a non pathogenic state. The fascinating thing is that a number of different researchers who are using very high end microscopes have discovered that the blood takes on a different shape corresponding to the different cycle that it's in coherently. And as a result, there's much more energy ionic exchange and less room or uh, opportunity for infections to be happening. So our approach to using lasers uses a proprietary technology, a patent pending technology, what we call WaveStar technology. WaveStar technology is all done digitally. So our lasers are based on a digital interface. It's the first laser, portable laser, that uses an all, in, in, uh, an all digital interface. We call it the WaveStar interface. That digital in interface allows us to use many different frequencies at once, hundreds of frequencies simultaneously. It also allows us to take the wave and to structure it according to different kinds of patterns. Some patterns are more beneficial for regenerating cells. Some are better for neutralizing stress and tension. We're able to modulate that wave structure to enable it to be used for a whole variety of different situations, both health-related, alchemical, all sorts of neat stuff. And it gives the user the opportunity to open up a whole new spectrum to how lasers uh, can be used for, for anything you want to use it for, health, wellness, rejuvenation, consciousness. So the all-digital interface is key. But even more important is understanding that our goal is to activate the key systems in the body. As we activate the key systems in the body, we're allowing the field to return to harmony, allow the body to self-correct, to balance, and rejuvenate to its natural integrity.